So this video right here is for the people that have kind of like my background. If you're struggling with drugs and alcohol, if you're struggling with addictions, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter if it's drugs or alcohol, if it's gambling, there's one requirement. The requirement is, is that you want to be free and that you're tired. You don't want to do it anymore. If that's you, I'm going to pray for you in a moment. And God's going to set you free. I already prayed to God. I already asked the Lord to anoint this message and to anoint my prayer <clears throat> to set you free. And then <clears throat> we're going to fill you up full of the Holy Spirit because that's very important. Once we do both, you get delivered, Deliverance happens through a few different ways. One is yawning, another is coughing. Sometimes you shriek, you know, stuff like that. They come out, they come out. Uh, sometimes you'll feel like very tense and then all of a sudden you'll feel a release. It just came out. That's, that's the kind of stuff to look for. A yawn, a cough, a sneeze, a throwing up, you know, if you feel like doing any of those, let it loose. There's this demon coming out of you. Afterwards, like I said, we're going to fill you up with the Holy Ghost. You need to get baptized. You need to find a church near you that is spirit-led. In these last days, there's a lot of fake pastors out there. You got to be careful. You can't just go to any church. You got to go to a church that the pastor is a man of God, like a real man of God, one that prays on his knees, one that follows God with his heart. He's not in fornication. He's not, you know, drinking and smoking and doing stuff that you want to get delivered from, and then he's going to baptize you. You don't want that. You want to go to, uh, you want to be spirit-led. So we're going to fill you up with the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will lead you. Now, let me pray to God before I pray for you, okay? Give me a moment. We're done. Let me see. guys I'm ready without further ado I'm gonna deliver you in Jesus name Father God I thank you right now every spirit at the sound of my voice I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ I command you to come out now come out now in Jesus name Come out of those people now. You that are hearing me, I'm not gonna say it a million times. I'm gonna count to the three. By the time I get to three, I command you out in Jesus' name. One, two, and three. In Jesus' name, be delivered. Come out. Get out of them. Be free. Jesus. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Set them free. You should be feeling deliverance right now. Don't hold on to them. Do not hold on to them. Let them go. There's people that hold on to their demons. Don't 
be that guy. There it goes. Let him go. In Jesus' name. Be completely set free. Be completely set free. Be completely set free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command you free. I command you free. I command you free of drugs, of alcohol, of sin. I command you every every demon, every curse, every everything holding you hostage, every everything that's a stronghold on your life, I command it to be broken off of you right now. Be broken in Jesus' name. Anything to do with Jezebel, I command it out of your life in Jesus' name. I bind that thing and I loose it in hell in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Jesus, I thank you for deliverance. There it is. Lord, I just I pray for your blood to wash and cleanse and purify. I pray, Father God, that right now you cleanse and purify the person who's watching this. This is a supernatural spirit-led video. Touch your people, Father God, and set them free, Jesus Christ. Set the captives free. In your name, Lord, you paid the price. You paid the sacrifice. Set them free. In Jesus' name, I set you free. I set you free of that dungeon, of that prison, of that jail cell. I set you free of that hell. I set you free of that captivity. I set you free. In Jesus' name, I set you free. Of all those demons, I set you free. Of drugs and alcohol, I set you free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. I see some people in the spiritual realm right now that God's showing me, like coughing and whatnot. Like I said, that's deliverance. That's them coming out. If that's you, write it on the comment section. What God did for you there for his glory. Now, <clears throat> regroup. Get your wits back. Because now you're going to get filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost filling you up is, is like bringing a fighter into the ring that's a better fighter than you. So you've been getting beat up by somebody bigger than you. And you're not bringing into the table like, well, I know somebody that's bigger than you, kind of thing. And you bring Jesus Christ into the picture and then the tables turn. The bully turns into the bullied. And that's a beautiful thing. I pray for that, Father God. I pray for that, for them. That you help them. They do not be bullied anymore by the demons, by the principalities, by everything that did bully them, Lord. Lord Jesus, it's time. Set your people free. Not only set them free, but fill them. As they lean into you, Father God, and open up their hearts, I'm going to lean, lean towards them with my faith. I ask you, God, that you fill them, even right now, as I speak these words. You touch them and you fill them right there where they're at. As they lean into you, Lord Jesus, with their faith, and they receive you into their life, Father. Let's make this simple. Let's make this available. Let's change their life forever and ever. For this reason, Jesus died and rose from the dead. To give you life and life eternal. And so I impart it into you in the count of three. One, two, and three. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. There it is. Receive it. Take it in. Just take it in. It's okay. Take it in. There it is. Just receive it. Because I feel this, this hand is like super hot. It's full of anointing. Everything that's happening right now is spiritual. It's it's supernatural. You can't explain it. Logically, you can't interpret what's happening here. Except that God setting people free and filling people up. 
for those that believe, for those that believe and are available to receiving salvation, it's a free gift. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Fill your people right now, Jesus, full of your Holy Spirit all the way to the brim. Set them free, Father God, completely. Burn out every iniquity in their hearts. And guys, just say with me right now, please say this. Say, Father God, I renounce to Satan. I renounce hell. I renounce addictions. Set me free. Repeat that again until you mean it. And repeat it a thousand times if that's what it takes. But just make sure you mean it. Because it's it's behind the intention of the heart when you see the results. Words are cheap. The meaning and the purpose and the intention is what counts here. Wow, I feel God. I believe that this video is going to help a lot of people. And I expect uh, testimonies. I bless you. I'll be making more videos like these to help people. I get a lot of comments asking me. They're just kind of sharing their story. People are struggling behind the scenes. They want to be free. They want to be set free. So God set them free. They want to be free. So God set them free. Set them free indeed. Whatever's in the way, Lord, burn it out of the way. As they let you, as they work with you, set them free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, set them free. Now, I command everything that is a demon out of your life now. Up and out, in Jesus' name. Up and out. Get out now, in Jesus' name. Now, Holy Spirit, enter, refresh, renew, and revitalize them, and make them a new creation, born-again creatures, a blessing to the world. Bless them now, Father, and seal them in your fate, in your blood. Seal them, Jesus Christ. Seal them. Jesus' name. 